when he says i was in patna i saw how senior party leaders were quibbling with each other in private rooms it made me feel that without modi there is no option ajit pawar saying the same thing if the akalis come back It, uh, despite the bad blood between the badals and the bjp that would suggest that they realize the inevitability of having to ally with the bjp without prime minister modi pushing their campaign parties like the akalis know that there is very little which is also why the jds has come on board uh rahul i happen to know mr patel and i will not make any personal comment but i think the world is aware of the kind of uh, ed and income tax and cbi pressures he was under so i don't think i need to speculate further as to what prompted him to leave uh, the, um, leave mr sharad pawar but i think let's cut out the rhetoric and the hyperbole and cut to the chase and look at what actually is the message coming from the people of india number 1 don't forget that the bjp has lost two states to karnataka back to back himachal pradesh and karnataka and that is also telling you which way probably the straws are blowing in the wind in Number assembly two. elections not in lok sabha well, elections well, 2019 well, shows yeah. that the mood is very different depending on where well, the election is being held and for what rahul rahul please hear me out If you believe that Narendra Modi's so-called formidable brand is still what it was in 2014, or that Rahul Gandhi is, you know, considered to be somebody who is struggling to make his own statement, is still the same, I think you are making a terrible I'm mistake. I am not believing anything. Think, it doesn't matter what no, you believe. I, I believe it matters the what the voters of India fluid. believe. Indian politics is fluid, and let me tell you something here. Narendra Modi publicly makes the statement. He is the Prime Minister of India, for God's sake. and he rubbishes the ncp as a naturally corrupt party a week ago and look at the Now, political that's a big problem shahzad punawala the prime minister himself says so publicly that they've done scams of up to 70000 crore rupees and more next week you're bringing them on board this whole idea na khaunga na khane dunga no bhrashtachar all the bhrashtacharis are coming to you can i kirit somaiya in maharashtra had a I know you know exactly had a 11 of the most corrupt I leaders know, except for three you, they are all now in some fashion with the bjp i just request you that give me as much time as you spent on asking the question okay. to answer the question yes uh, has any case ever stopped against any of the people let me give you an example vidya is your reporter from india today pratap sarnayak whom you accuse of all kinds of corruption when he was with the sen uddhav sena The tops case was closed by Uddhav Sena's coalesce in December 2021. We came to power in June 2022. ED got up in High Court in 2022 December, and I have the reports I can show you, and said that the case closed should not be closed; it should continue. This is the commitment of Modi. No, no but you don't act against second. them. Listen, ah, one second. When no, Hemant Biswa Sarma was in when, Amin, when Hemant Biswa Sarma was in opposition, now look at the number of cases against him. Let's stick to Maharashtra. When, uh, Let's stick no, to Maharashtra. when Suvendu Adhikari was in the BJP, look at the charges against him. I'll give you all those answers, but then you can take a long time to answer. No, but this is the reality. A long time. See, Rahul, look at what was being said against Ajit Pawar on charges of irrigation against him. Rahul, let me answer one by one. Yes. If you keep adding the questions, then you won't get answers to any. Okay. Let me answer the question. Secondly, if ED was being misused and everybody is coming because of dar of ED, Jayant Patil has a case against him on ILFS. ED is ED is investigating him. Why has he come? And what cases there on Dilip Palse Patel? So you know selectively to say this. And no, if all the cases people, against Praful Patel, the cases against ah, one second. Now let me tell you that. Let me answer this. You have again shifted the goalposts. Yes. Let me answer this. If Praful Patel had cases, why were they making him working president? Why was Ajit Pawar the? No, because you are supposed to be different. You are the party that says that how can I call it? But at least let me answer more than five seconds. Yes. You can't keep interrupting. Every five seconds. Okay. If Ajit Pawar is the most corrupt person, first of all, they are acknowledging that the Congress NCP government allowed corruption. Secondly, why was he the LOP of their entire Gadbandan? Why was he the that LOP of their entire Gadbandan? How can you? But how can you talk about two of the worst kind? Are you are citing what they were doing wrong to justify no, what you are doing wrong. wrong. I am saying something else. Under UPA, cases on Lalu and Mulayam were stopped. But I have shown you a case of Pratap Sarnayak. The case is not stopped. That is the difference. And now let me ask you a different question. Now, Mr. Sanjay Jha quoted two elections, and he has given his verdict. By 22, 23, there have been 10, 11 elections. Out of that, we won eight. Two have been won by Congress and one by Amadi Party. What does that say? After Bharat Rahul, Jodo, there have been four, six the elections. Okay, okay. Please don't interrupt me. Please don't interrupt me. Bharat Jodo ke baad there were six elections. Four have been won by us. Two uh, by the Congress. So how come right. he comes to okay. conclusion? And last question: Is UPA alive or is PDA alive? Please ask the Congress spokesperson: Is PDA there or is UPA there? Okay, I'm running out of time. I'd ask Sanjay Singh that question about the uh, reshuffle. He had a smile; he didn't say anything. Is the reshuffle happening or not, according to you?
uh, nobody can say, you know, with this government. Uh, but uh, since uh, this, this thing is in card and must speculate it, uh, I think if one man, we all know that Telangana is going to go to polls sometime in November and December. The announcement of it is going to be only three months away, sometime in first week of October. So therefore, the minister, G. Kitchen Reddy, is going to go to and stay there in Telangana for all these three to five months' time. Uh, if that is of any signal, the president is away. She is, uh, Let's pull a googly to Shaita Chazad. Is that right, Nidhi Shafar? I have... No, well, no, he stumped. For no, once, no, Shahzad is out of words, Sanjay. I have not started Aja. answering. Okay. I have said that if you think that the discretion and the prerogative of the Prime Minister can be allocated to as good an anchor as you or to Sanjay Singh or to me, then I think we are not following the constitution of this country. Okay, I am just asking the question. My job is to ask no, the no, question. Let me make a quick point. Yes, Mr. Uh, yes, go ahead. Uh, so, I wanted to make a point on Maharashtra. Sir, yes, which is I am out of time. Huh? Uh, at least Ajit Bawar gets 36 MLAs, which I don't see happening. The question is who runs the party organization. And as far as any party in India goes, nobody's higher than the national president, who both Mr. Ajit Bawar have you then taken the, the LOP position from them? Claim them to be. Hold on a second. So the way Sir, why did you then say LOP is higher than Mr. Sharad Pawar? Do not interrupt me. You had enough time. So my point is that this is a mountain out of a molehill. Both factions except Mr. Sharad Pawar as the national president who gets to make the call and who the whip is. Unless there are 36 MLAs, all these guys are going to be disqualified. No, listen, and that disqualification elections will hold and politics are also a lot about mahal and narrative. The narrative post Patna is Ajit Pawar moving away from the NCP. Now, no matter who wins in the end, it's a blow. Your nephew has gone away, critical leaders have gone away. Akali is wanting to come back, the TDP wanting to come back, Kushwaha wanting to come back. Those are uh, the political reality. Now, maybe there could be a big ticket announcement sometime. Raj Thakre gave a tantalizing tease about potentially working with Uddhav Thakre. It may never materialize. If it does, you need, like if for example, the opposition has hit a few big hits, then you need to be able to fight back. Can this opposition fight back? That's the question. Think of it as a T20 match. As of now, at this moment, post Patna, the momentum with the BJP, which is expanding the NDA, bringing more star players on board. And they, of course, have the superstar in Prime Minister Modi. So now the opposition needs to hit a few out of the park as well. Let's see if they can.